So good morning, and I just wanted to start off this video by saying a very Merry Christmas to everyone as well. Um, I'm actually filming this um, a few days after Christmas, it's the 28th of December today. And um, I, I just wanted to wish everyone a Happy Christmas. I know it's not been the world's most normal Christmas for most of us. For many of us it's actually been a very, very difficult Christmas. Um, so we just wanted to wish you well, and um, I hope that whatever your circumstances are, I hope that you've managed to keep safe over this Christmas period and that one way or another hopefully you've had a nice day. Um, anyway, it's Christmas and unbelievably it's actually snowing um, which is absolutely magical. I wasn't intending to come out today and actually Hannah went out to do some wildlife photography this morning um, so she took our four-wheel drive car with her um, but I looked out the window and saw the snow started to fall and I thought oh, I've got to get out and get some photographs in the snow. So what I've done um, is rather than take our smaller car, which I didn't really want to drive in, in, in the snow, what I've done is I've actually just walked out um, from my front door um, to this local park which is just near where I live and it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if I'm going to get any amazing photographs this morning but when conditions are unique it's just worth grabbing the camera and getting out there so that's exactly what I've done this morning. Um, and I've come over to this park here. Um, there's this place here where there's, there's these trees um, out in the middle of a field with some sheep and this is just the kind of photograph which I had in mind when I came out this morning. Um, what I'm hoping is I can get a nice sort of atmospheric shot of some trees in the field or for snow. And I want to try and capture it whilst the snow is falling. It's a little bit of a logistical nightmare sometimes to try and do photography when the snow is falling. Fortunately all my equipment is, is weather sealed so I'm quite confident having it out in the snow. Um, I think sometimes when you've just got that snow falling in shot, it just creates a little bit of atmosphere, similar to the kind of atmosphere that you might get in misty conditions in woodlands. So that's the sort of shot which I'm after this morning. So this is our local river which uh, runs through our village and under normal circumstances it's normally quite a, a modest small river uh, but a few days ago it actually burst its banks and these trees now which would normally be lining the banks of the river are now completely surrounded by water and I think they're looking really picturesque so I'm going to stop, take a quick photograph of these trees I think just try and zoom in on those ones out there which are particularly pleasing one of them's still got a little bit of kind of autumnal red colouring in it so I try and make a feature out of that tree zoom in with a 24-105mm lens and take a quick photograph um, and then I'll move on This is a scene which I've walked past quite regularly actually um, and under normal conditions it's not where it's most interesting scene so I've never really photographed it um, but just a little bit of snow has really helped create a little bit of more atmosphere here and there's just a little bit, bit of detail in the sky as well where I was photographing earlier the sky was just a flat grey which worked fine for, these, for those photographs but for this photograph I find that just having a little bit of cloud detail helps a little bit so I've just fired off a quick shot here and um, I'm kind of coming to the end of my little short walk here. There's one little bit around the corner which I'd like to explore next. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to get out and take some nice photographs in such incredible conditions.
So this is yet another scene which I've walked past quite a few times and thought in the right conditions this would make a lovely photograph. And again the snow is just, I think, exactly the sort of unique conditions that I think this scene needs. Um, I did have a little bit of experiment to see if I can make some kind of foreground out of this undergrowth here that's covered in snow, but I just I couldn't make it work really, it was just a bit too messy and it made that scene in the background just a little bit too small, so I decided just to cut that out, zoom straight in up, up this valley, and you've got these lovely sort of typical Oxfordshire rolling hills and some nice, a nice little stand of trees up there in the distance. Um, so yeah, I, I really like this scene. It's been an absolutely fantastic morning just here. It's just literally just walking straight out my front door, going on a local little walk. It's only a few hundred metres really um, from where I live, so it's just lovely to have this on the doorstep. <laughs> I don't feel I've really been exploiting it much photographically because it's just, you know, been waiting for some kind of unique conditions really to make the photographs work. And I think um, as soon as I saw that snow falling, I was like, right, yeah, let's get out there and see if we can get some photos. It seems, it's been such an enjoyable morning out here. Um, so it's just a, just a quick video this morning, um, but I hope you've enjoyed it. And again, I just wanted to say a very happy new year to you all. Um, let's hope it's better than 2020. 2020 has been very difficult for, for all of us. Um, so I hope that you've managed to get through it so far and fingers crossed that things will look up again in 2021. Okay, until next time, take care. My way up that way, but I just looked behind me and I just saw this amazing light happening through these trees. It's absolutely beautiful. We are in the Cairngorms. Um, this is day number two of our trip and the hope is to do some wildlife photography um, specifically looking for some mountain hares. So there's this little blue guy down here, he's got his wings splayed out, um, which is quite a nice little model-y pose that he's putting on for me, um, but he's just popping back up again. So. <laughs> The sand here is just flat and the light is just absolutely incredible. I've, I've never really seen anything like it apart from maybe in, in Iceland. So far today has just been utterly, utterly phenomenal. I absolutely adore this place.